Hello, my angel. I feel like it's been a million years. So we're getting back to our roots today by doing brain scratches. What kind of brain scratches? I'm literally so glad you asked because this is what I got for us. These mini hands. Well, actually I put these on my Amazon wish list and someone got them for us. But the point is you and me, we have them. We have them. And today will be some of the greatest, greatest brain scratches of all time. Although I will say roughly, mm, I don't know, three minutes ago, I looked at this and saw some of these hands are making vulgar gestures. Oh, okay. Luckily, they came in a pack of 14, which I love and celebrate. Um, shall we? Let's get started. Let's open these bad boys. So I said, I hope most of them are regular hands because that's what I wanted. You can't always get what you want. Okay, thank you. Oh, there's the vulgar gesture one. I'm not gonna show it again. I have YouTube demonetizing my video. We have a fist. We have, oh, a peace sign. I don't know how to feel about these. I feel like it's been a what? Okay, wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I thought these would be, I thought these would be more flexible. Look at these guys. Oh my God, look at the veins on the back of the hand. Slay. I tried to turn off autofocus. No, I didn't. I didn't try. I did turn off the autofocus so when I'm scratching it won't focus on my hands. Let me know if you like that better or worse. Wait, some of them are left and some of them are right. I love that. I guess I'll put this on my left hand. My hand that is not my right. Okay, here we have another lefty. I thought these would be like a softer plastic. They're pretty rigid. Soup. Um, wow, I hope they're not all left hands. Okay, here we go. We have another right. Hmm. Can I tell you a really sad story? I got, I'm obviously not using it right now, but I got us a blue Yeti microphone. And two weeks ago, wait, this is a left hand. Um, two weeks ago, I filmed like a little test video. It was like a minute and 30 seconds long of me. This doesn't fit on my thumb, I have to be honest. It doesn't fit on my thumb. I think I might leave them off my thumb. I don't know. Um, oh, and then it worked, right? My Blue Yeti microphone worked for that brief yet glorious moment in time. Yeah, these don't fit on my thumbs. I don't know about this. Um, but anyways, sit down two Sundays ago, film for you over an hour long video, get on my computer to edit it. What was that? Oh yeah, it had no sound. Did I cry? No, because I'm God's bravest soldier. Did I want to? Yeah, for sure. Wait, wait, I love this. Okay, I can't do the thumbs. I love you, but I can't do the thumbs. I'll just do my fingers. But what would it be like? Ooh, a piece sign on my thumb, okay. Okay, shall we start our scratching journey? Do you love this or do you hate this? I love it. Um, you know what I also got? G Grinch fingers. I have like, um, I'll keep scratching. You know in Jim Carrey's How the Grinch Stole Christmas, which in my opinion is the Christmas movie. Max wears that like little horn I have one of those horns, so I have like little Grinch fingers now, and I'm like, I can hold up Rocco wearing the horn. Uh, 
I've experienced luxury this week. By that I mean, I went to the grocery store and you know what I found there? Name brand Sriracha. I was so excited. I bought the big thing. It was $11, which feels like a large purchase. And then my grandmother, maternal, got me um, a Lent advent calendar. And it's like, I've never had one this fancy and it's so good. And I texted her to say thank you. Coupon. My angel, my baby. Oh. Do we mirror it? No, don't bite them. They're your friend. Um, oh, but anyways, I texted my grandma and I said, thank you so much for my Lent calendar. I love you, Supopotamus. And my grandma said, you're welcome. Your cousins ate the entire thing on December 1st, which I love and celebrate. My cousins are 13 and 14. I could eat the whole calendar. I definitely could, but I think my tummy would hurt. But that didn't stop them, and they're incredibly brave for that. How many fingers are scratching you right now? Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Am I doing that math right? I don't know. I don't know. What's that? Please don't do that. Anyways, I don't know what's wrong with my blue Yeti mic. I don't know why it won't. And I was like looking on Reddit. And people were offering solutions and I tried the solutions and none of them were affected. And then some of the comments, like the newest comment on the Reddit post were like, so did anyone figure this out? And I just want to reiterate that now. Has anyone figured it out? I have a Sony. What do I have? A Sony Z1. No, there's a second letter in there. I don't know what the letter is, but it's a something Z1. Can you see the girls? I'm gonna take these off for a second and go regular brain scratch. Angel baby princess sugar plum. My cinnamon sugar twist cherub. Mm. All right, you can come up here. Just don't cause, just don't cause a scene. What? 
Did you ask for anything for Christmas? Maybe you don't celebrate Christmas. I'm going to my Christmas this year. I can't remember if I told you that or not. I'm going. I'm doing it. Will I regret that? Remains to be seen. The geese are here for the winter. What geese? Good question. I think they're Canadian geese. I guess I could ask my brother who knows that kind of stuff, but I guess I don't care that much. But anyways, there's a park I go to that has a little pond and it's just like covered. The sidewalk around the pond is just covered in goose poop, geese poop this time of year. But I like having them here. They're very cute. They live in this pond alongside ducks. It's very sweet. <laughs> Coupon. Hop up or settle down. Come up here. My, my cheesy pretzel twist. This is my baby. This is my baby shoe. Look at this neck fluff. I have been brushing it with our Furminator daily and uh, it is not going down. And that's like a de-shedding brush. Are you content to just sit there? I love you. In 2024, April 1st, 2024, my supopotamus will be two years old. Now you've heard everything. You're shocked, you're stunned. You're rolling around the floor. You're rolling around on the floor in hysterics because time is meaningless and it still passes us by. I wonder if she'll let me hold her like a baby while I pluck some negativity. Pluck, plunk, plunk. That was great. That was good. That was wonderful. I got these new headbands. I've seen girls wearing them online and I wanted one. I also got a black one and I actually sort of love them. I think I might give them to my cousins for Christmas. I don't think they watch my YouTube videos. I'm hoping they don't because I don't want them to see that. Soup is staring up at my hand like, why are the scratches not for me? Are you purring? Are you my little linguine baby? Are you my little flower pot cherub? I'm running out of names. Plunk. Look at all the negativity of yours that she could fit in her neck fluff. Bing. Bing. Ooh. 
This is my baby soup. Oh my gosh. I can't remember if I put a video on YouTube about it, but Rocco has been with us for one full American year. He got here last year. I can't remember if the first day was the 14th or the 15th, but the first picture I took of him was on the 15th. So I think it was on the 15th, but he's been here for a full year, which is bananas. Sauce. Okay, I want to put the fingers on again. These smell like plastic. Duh. So I wonder how coupon will react. So far she's still purring. Can you hear her? Mm. I bet your sister would like it if you laid with her. Took a little knee up. Nap time is so important for toddlers. Oh, that is not how I wanted to pick her up. <laughs> Lucky she's so chill. Oh, snack, slay. Did I tell you about how I started saying slay ironically and now I can't stop? But this time of year, I'm spelling it like slay. Coupon. I do not live, laugh, love that. So that's very festive of me. She's gonna try. <laughs> I love that. Ooh, girlfriend, you almost fell. I saw this TikTok about, um, like what will be the next popular, what will be the future of like content? And they were talking about the future will be, oh my God, wait, I love doing this with so many hands. FaceTime content, which, and I'm paraphrasing. They said it's the kind of content you can put on in the background while you do something like clean your house because human attention span is now worse than a goldfish. They didn't show any sources for that, so I don't know where they got that. So I'm just telling you, they said that. I'm not saying it's true. But I was happy when I saw that, the FaceTime thing, because I'm like, I'm good at that kind of content. I can be put on in the background. Coupon is about to knock over the tripod. It's imminent. Look at me, imminent. Um, but I'm good at that, you know? Like, I can be on in the background. Okay, she's walking away from the tripod. Okay, I think we're safe. But... And I do the same thing, like I'll put on, well right now I have complete and utter hyperfixation on Trisha Paytas' podcast. And so I put that on while I do stuff around my home where I live. Mostly because her podcast episodes are two and a half hours long. Gorgeous. I love a long content moment. Coupon, whatever. I live for the applause, applause, applause. Okay, I'm gonna take these off again. 
my fingers just get a little sweaty in there, you know? Cat hair. Do you guys get your pets anything for Christmas? I asked that yesterday in my um, group chat of people from college. And here were the answers. We got Flora three urgent vet visits and an emergency spay in the last month. So no, same. I didn't put Elizabeth to sleep last month. That's a joke, I hope. And her food is costing me a fortune every month. So no, Elizabeth has kidney disease, same as Rocco, but hers is further along, I believe. Um, and the third response, I got Gus a little pet bed, but I doubt he'll sleep on it. I think she just got Gus. Did I tell you that they have little Debbie Christmas tree ice cream at Walmart? I just remembered I sent a picture of it in the group chat. It's so good. Mm, so good. It's so good because I like stuff like that. I think it mostly tastes like cold frosting and it has some of those like little sprinkles in there. I would eat it again, but there is literally no dessert that's too sweet except maybe an entire advent calendar. Shush it. Wow, coupons are really losing it over there. I didn't get them anything like sp specifically for Christmas because I get them something new all the time. They constantly get presents. I don't want to move the camera, but she's playing with those springs. Oh, this. They're obsessed with these. They are feral for this. Slay. Bye. I love you. Be good. Bing. Bing. It is occurring to me right now that if I go to edit this and it has no sound, I'm going to have a meltdown of such epic proportions like nothing the world has ever seen. Okay. I live for the applause. What's that Yankee Doodle song? Yankee Doodle, mm -mm -mm, riding on his pony, set the feather in his hat and called it macaroni. Wake up, wake up. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you saw, but last week, yeah, I went to go see Pot Roast Bones, and that was really nice. Um, I really miss her, but it's a long process, you know, cleaning her up. For some reason, I get a lot of, not for some reason, usually when I post pictures of her bones, the response is like overwhelmingly positive, but I posted ASMR with her bones because that's what I wanted to do. It's my grief. I like taking a playful I like to be playful with it sometimes in some ways but I got more negative feedback than usual on TikTok 
um, which I thought was really interesting. Grief makes people so deeply uncomfortable, which is fair because, well, it's not fair to grieving people, but people don't know what to say because I think we're taught to shove it down, to move on, to not dwell on it. And you know, in February, pot roast will have been gone for two years, which means faucet will be two years old. And I think it is confusing to some people, not the majority, but just to some people why I'm still talking about how much I loved her and how much I miss her. Um, but I would like to normalize that. I would like to show people that I'm going to miss her for the rest of my life, you know, and I'm going to love her even when I'm a ghost, even when I'm gone, I will still love her. Um, yeah. I can't remember why I brought that up to you, but it was really gorgeous to see her bones. Her, I don't know if you saw in the video, her, the top of your, her rib cage is bone and then underneath the like cartilage has been preserved, which I thought was so, that just slaps, you know, I hope the taxidermist keeps it on there. Um, it's a very interesting thing to see. I think that our bodies remember days. I'm going somewhere with this. Hold on, because it might take me a while. Two years ago, yeah, around this time, I was like, <sighs> pot roast was about to die. And she was eating her litter and the vet kept telling me, it's a behavioral thing. There's nothing wrong with her, you know. Um, but the stress was mounting. And, and even though that was two years ago, I feel the same sort of stress. Like I feel it, like my body remembers it. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean. And yeah, I just imagine the feeling will get worse until, you know, the date of her passing, which was February 16th. What is that? Coupon? Whatever. Soup? Soup? What? You better not fight yourself in the mirror. Do not, Coupon. Okay. All right. I saw a comment today on a video of her bones. It said, why did I choose not to do traditional taxidermy? Um, and I just think for me personally, I think it would be too sad, like to see her little face every day, you know, because my love for her is, I don't know how to say this. My love for her is the same but different. There's a different version of her now that she's gone. I'm not saying this very eloquently, but 
getting to love her bones, I think is, is a healthy way to move through my grief for me personally. Um, I think maybe if I could see her as she was taxidermy, like traditionally, I wouldn't be able to accept the situation. Do you know what I mean? Because seeing her bones, man, I'm really having trouble getting this out. I hope you understand me. I feel like you do. What is Coupon doing? She wants me to stop talking about grief. <laughs> Coupon, what is your deal today? Are you going through something? Is she approaching the terrible twos? Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, but also the taxidermist, Alessandra, who is my friend. I don't think she'll see this, but if she does, we're friends. And <laughs> um, I had seen her work. She has a lot of examples of her work on her website. I can put it in the description because it is so freaking cool. But... Um, Years ago, I had seen examples of like the skeletons that she did and I knew that I wanted to work with her and she no longer does traditional taxidermy, which I love. Coupon, what's happening, my angel? Okay. Do you want to chew on a hand again? Would that make it better? I'll give you four hands to chew on. Look, a little snack. Should they pet you? Oh! Oh, that's gonna fall off. Um. Two, well, my best friend came over for Thanksgiving and then um, another of my really good friends from college came over last week, this week. Time is so meaningless. But anyways, I was so proud of Coupon because she didn't walk out, but she didn't walk out to the living room where we were hanging out. I imagine we were being too loud because she's shy, you know. But anyways, when we walked in here, Coupon was laying on the bed. And previously, she has, like, jumped off the bed and hid under the bed with Fawcett when there's a new person here. But she stayed on the bed, and she let my um, friend from college pet her. And it was just wonderful. I was so proud of her being brave. Fawcett. Fawcett. Oh, my God. She's going to knock over the tripod. But Paro's mom, they always do this. Have you thought about moving the tripod? No. There's not good lighting in my home where I live with my children and my elderly roommate. So I have to like film by a window. Do you know what I mean? Faucet. Whatever's going on with the two of you today, whatever energy has come over you. I love it, but also I really don't. Can I take a piece of their negativity and give it to you? For this, I'm going to put it on my thumb. <laughs> okay, ready? Oh, wait. Hmm. 
I don't want to be annoying, but I do want to tell you that these videos are ad-free on my Patreon. And if you're looking for a Christmas gift, my cameos rock. And there's no shipping. And if you really lose track of time, I can do a 24-hour one. You know? There is that option. Fossipotamus. Ugh. It's everywhere. Sasset, can you come say hello? <laughs> say hi. Say hi. Say I am the Shash Monster. You smell so good. I love you. I just press my face to her and I'm always like, why is there cat hair in my face? You know what those hands sort of remind me of? At the Renaissance Fair, and I'm sure at other fairs, you know how you can like dip your hand in wax? You can like make a peace sign. I had one of those when I was a child. Mm -hmm. If my children weren't so shy and afraid of people, Fawcett, if you knock over the tripod, you won't be my child anymore. You'll be my mortal enemy. Um, but anyways, I would take them to the Renaissance Fair. But they wouldn't like that. Rocco would actually like it, I think. Should we scoop? I feel like we haven't scooped in a while. I'll do it on me first. We take our negativity down, put it on our shoulder. Gross. Down, down, down onto my shoulder. Do you want to be scooped? Is that why you're whining? I think it's unclear why she's whining. Okay, I'll scoop you now. Down your shoulder. Scoop it off your shoulder. Okay, ready? We'll do this side. Off your head and we'll scoop it. Scoop it off your shoulder. Down your arm. Oof. Does it feel lighter? Hmm. Sauce it. Sometimes she climbs in the bucket with the toys, in the basket with the toys. You know what I think Fossa could use? One of those like giant wheels they hang on the wall for cats. You know what I mean? Like a, like a cat size hamster wheel. I just saw a um, a mink 
running on a giant wheel. I just thought it was a really busted looking cat. And then I read the caption. I was like, oh my God, slay. See, I can't stop saying it. Oh, well. Please don't take my soup shine away. Last night, the faucet's gonna get stuck. Such is the life of a beige toddler. Last night I woke up at midnight and I could not fall back asleep. I didn't fall back asleep until, prepare yourself, 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Central Standard Time. So I feel crazy this morning than usual, crazier than usual. Mm. I think I told you about how in 2020 I bought all those books on Audible because I had an engineering job and no good sense. Um, and so now I'm listening to them all again because that's such an enormous and insane waste of money and I wish I could sell them back. But Alas, anyways, I'm re-listening to Kingdom of the Wicked. Um, I think it's young adult because it's very appropriate. Do you know what I mean? Hey, Fawcett, I think this is going to have to come to a close, whatever it is that you're doing. She doesn't care. Anyways, it's pretty good. I haven't listened to an audiobook that doesn't have some level of spice, some level of smut in a long time. But I'm like, wait. No, that's not true, because I just listened to um, the Cruel Prince trilogy. And that's young adult, I think. If you have listened, I can't remember if I already told you this. I tried to tell everyone this. If you have read that book series and you have not seen Cardin's Letters to Jude that came in the one special edition Barnes and Noble book like many years ago that they don't make anymore, please Google them. You need to see these letters. I love them. Is she driving you crazy? She's driving me crazy. Hey, Sassipotamus. Ooh. Doesn't my sassy girl want to come see what these hands are doing? Can I make them hold hands? Man, they are not going together. Is it better when I when I didn't turn on the autofocus? Tell me. Tell me. I really hope I can figure out that blue Yeti mic for us. I think that'll be a life changing. My best friend's back in town and we're gonna go ice skating. And I'm very excited. Last time we went, last year, it was on a weekday before Christmas. And um, I forget that 
Well, actually, I forget about children. That's the end of the sentence. But I forget they get out of school and they'll just be in public places. So it was us and, mm, I don't know, 50 kids. But whatever, it was still fun. loud my heater just kicked on if you can it'll turn off in a second don't worry sometimes when I film good cat bad cat I turn the heater off because I don't use a mic for good cat bad cat usually and when I'm not using a mic the heater really overpowers my voice anyways sometimes I'll forget to turn it back on and that happened two weeks ago and when I woke up because I film it on Thursday so then when I woke up Friday morning, it was 57 degrees in this house. Mm, terrible. Oh my God, I just got an email. Oh, it's... From the bank. I don't want to be bummed out. <laughs> I'm almost tempted to move the camera so you can see how she has contorted herself. Okay, I'll do it. I'll move the camera. Can you see her? Can you? Can you? Okay, I deeply regret my choice to move the camera, but alas, here we are. Oh, now you can see Groupon's little face. My best friend and I were trying to think of stuff, thinking of things to do to make, thinking of things to do in a December YouTube video since we just did it. To say we did ASMR in our November video is generous, but I think it would be fun to do a gingerbread house, but like with all I have going on here cat wise and even mentally, um, I don't know if that's smart. You know, but it would be fun. Plus, I don't know. I always think stuff like that sounds fun. And then when I get to actually doing it, I'm like, wait, I don't want to do this. You know what that happened with carving pumpkins, carving pumpkins. Faucet, are you ready to get out of the box? Oh, for good cat, bad cat, I'm looking to do an end of the year wrap up. So if you have any like end of the year categories that you would like, hit me with them in the comments. Last year, I think I did best cat, which 
uh, that was the cat who got good cat the most, which believe it or not, I think it was Fawcett against all odds and worst cat who got bad cat the most. Take two seconds to guess who it was. It was coupon. It was coupon. Things don't change that much, you know? Are you my angel? What other categories did I do? I think I did fan favorite. Someone suggested I also do a, um, like a roundup of all of Bot Roast's best reaction clips. But that would be so hard to pick, you know? How could I possibly pick Bot Roast's best reaction because every reaction she has is gorgeous, in a word. You were a good cat once. It'll be interesting when I go back to see how many times Goopon got good cat. If I had to guess, I would say two, maybe three. It's hard to explain why it annoys me so much when people think Goopon is a ragdoll. But I posted a video of her. What was it? Oh, I think it was you trying to lick your own neck fluff. Um, and I had to pull it out of her mouth. And I captioned it on Instagram and TikTok. Kuban is a domestic, medium to long haired cat. This is her winter coat. And one of the first comments was like ragdoll things. And I'm like, Kuban's mom was a tabby. Kuban. Is a domestic, medium to long haired cat. Aren't you? Are you my little shelter queen? Are you my little hoarder situation superstar? Coupon actually didn't really experience the hoarder situation. I think that's why she's not as shy as Fawcett because Coupon was taken out the day or the day after she was born. Um, so yeah, she, she never really lived with all those cats and no human interaction. Fawcett didn't get taken out until she was four weeks old. And I think that must be why she was so shy. Also because her m adoptive mother, Microwave, was very, very shy. Hmm. Something else I need to figure out about my camera that if you can help me, I would love, laugh, love it. The battery dies so quickly. Like it takes three hours to charge, which like whatever. I get up at like 6.30 so I can plug it in before I start filming. But like I've been filming for 57 minutes and I'm on like the last third of the battery. What? Um, but you can't charge it while it's on so I can't like plug it in while it's on. What? Goodbye. Yankee Doodle. I'm going to describe something to you. 
and I hope you know what I'm talking about and why is that the vibe of my whole channel but whatever um when I would go to my aunt's house to get babysat after can you use that tense of babysit school she had cable and she would put on this show that was like it was like American Kids or something, and it was kids talking about stuff in history, but they were dressed from like 1776. And they would talk about historical American, histor U.S. historical events. What is the name of that show? And the one guy had like a low pony that looked awful. Which implies that somewhere, somehow, a low pony looks good on someone, which I don't think it does. It's beginning to look a lot. Coupon, were you feeling too peaceful? Coupon had to intervene. Soup, that's my baby. That's my baby. Do you wanna come up here again? Do you wanna eat a hand? Snack on a hand? Soup, okay. Next Sunday is Christmas Eve. So I don't know what kind of video to post or if even I should even post a video on Christmas Eve. Let me know your thoughts on what kind of video. I could do like a like a brain spa, Christmassy brain spa, but what would be Christmassy about the brain spa? Let me know your thoughts. I loved these. Did you like these? I really enjoyed these. They're like so fun. I wonder if I could put one of them on the girl's paws. No, they're way too small. Just for me then. Okay, one last regular finger scratch and then we'll regular finger brain scratch. Regular, you know what I mean. Soup. <laughs> Can you come here? Soup. Soup. Can you say bye? Can you say have a gorgeous week? Okay, she doesn't want you to have a gorgeous week, but she is saying bye. Okay, 
me, I, mother to coupon, I want you to have a gorgeous week. And I hope you know I live, laugh, love you. And I will see you next week. Goodbye.